Hello, and uh, today, it's the same day, I'm wearing the same clothes as the previous video because I'm recording this the same day. Uh, just feel on, I just feel right at the moment, I feel ready to do this, you know. But what I'm going to talk to you about today is a few days ago, a few days ago, a few weeks ago, I posted a video called The Emergency Shit. Now, it consisted of me having a shit in a quarry, wiping my ass outside in the cold while people were there. It was the most degrading moment of my life. It was probably, you know when you talk about animals, baby animals being helpless, oh that little sheep was helpless, that I felt helpless, I felt the most helpless I've ever felt in my life. Literally nothing compares to that moment. If I was getting beaten up by six gigantic, big, bald black men, I'd probably feel happier. I'd probably feel a bit more less, a bit more helpful, a bit, bit more helpful, less helpless. I don't know what the word is, but I'd feel less helpless. I think that's right. But I thought I'd spend a couple of minutes just talking you through it. If you've watched it, I could always... If I don't know how to do it, you know, I'm not new to this, but I'm shit at it. I'd, I'd put a link to the video in this, but unless, unless somebody helps me, I, I don't think I'll really know how to do that. But I'll go for the story. Anyway, me and my friend Adam and my friend Lee, we went up... Well, one of them lives in rugby, so me and Adam went to visit my friend Lee. His friend Lee. Our friend Lee. However you want to call it. And... They're both into fishing. I'm not really a fisherman, but you know, I'm part of the. I'm, I, I, I tag along, so I'll just do whatever, just chill, one of them things. And for a while, you know, I'd needed a shit, not a proper shit, but I just felt like I'd needed a shit. But I kind of forgot about it. That morning, I'd had a McDonald's, and for the first time, I'd had extra cheese on my burgers. Now, normally, you'll find if you ask at a McDonald's, well, whatever ones I go to. No, we can't do no extra cheese. Not like it's some big problem. It's not a problem. Whack on an extra slice. Do it by accident. You know, you can do. You could pull off an extra cheese slice by accident and just blame it on being by accident. Nobody's ever going to catch you. Nobody's ever going to look at the burger and say you've put on an extra piece of cheese. You are fired. Nobody's going to do that. So next time, I I would like the extra cheese, which I did this time, but I don't want it again because he made me shit myself. But so yeah, we're walking around this quarry and. I just feel myself bubbling, man. I, I, I don't know. It just something didn't feel right. So we're walking round, and we were on one side of the quarry. The next minute, we decided to walk round the other side. They wanted to fish the other side of the lake. Well, all right. So we walked round. My mate had set up down the bottom, and I walked down, and I was standing there, and my, I just did. I felt weird, man. My stomach. Jesus Christ! It felt like a volcano. Every single time, literally, I was trying to stand still, and I was there standing still. But because I was on like this slab, every time the you know like when a slab wobbles, it was wobbling, and every time it wobbled, I just felt brrr, brrr, in my stomach, and I thought I need to do something. What am I supposed to do? The toilet's fucking shut. You know, the only way here is to actually do a shit outside and wipe my ass. Luckily, my mate had some toilet paper in his car, so you know, as you see in the video, that helped a lot. So I walk up this hill. And I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, it's going to come, it's going to come. And I'm looking, I'm looking for somewhere where I can do it. Sadly, the place we'd gone to, it was, it, there was no enclosed bits at all. It was literally all open now. You know, I had no choice. And I'm walking around, I, I, I leant over this wooden thing, seeing if I could just try and suck it back in. And I'm walking around, walking around. All of a sudden, Jesus Christ, my stomach, my stomach felt like a kettle you know like when you look at a kettle and it's boiling and the water's like all in bubbles and that. that's what my stomach I felt that inside me literally the panic I felt then I just said to Ad I said Ad I'm sh I've gonna shit myself I'm gonna shit myself I'm gonna shit myself get the tissue Ad get the tissue I'm gonna shit myself so I ran down the hill like back to where he was at the bottom because I thought it's a bit it's a bit more out of the way as I was running down the hill I just felt myself go literally I thought I thought I'd shit myself. I felt something come between the cheeks and go into my pants, and it felt damp. I thought my pants had been filled, literally filled. Anyway, I pulled, literally then I got to the bottom, pulled my trousers down, pulled my pants down, bent over. There was nothing, nothing in my pants, other than this wet, 
like just like a tiny patch of wet, a bit of ass juice. You know, when you think you've shit yourself and all you've produced is a bit of ass juice, you can't really complain. Then I leant over and I let that shit fly, man. And it came out like a bloody sauce bottle. I swear to God, it looked like chicken tikka masala. It hurt to come out. Anyway, at this point, I start. I have this thing where whenever I have a poo, I have to have a wee. It just comes at the same time. So then I started weird. I had to quickly move my, tr my, tr my, 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 my trousers and that out the way while I'm having a, a wee and a poo outside, like some like a woman weeing. It was horrible. It, I was weeing like a woman with my willy between my legs right down the bottom, like pissing through the gap. It was rough. And then, so obviously I'm, I'm getting a bit cold now. My willy's shriveling up. I've got my, my pal up the top laughing his head off. I had to tell him a good few times to go and get that tissue. I did feel myself getting a bit, not angry, I was just in the point where I was thinking, okay, is he actually going to help me? I, I was debating on getting into the into the water and just having a wash, man. You know, that would have been my best bet. But no, luckily he went round. He took a while because he was laughing all the way around. I don't think it was that fully, to be fair, because one, I was freezing. Two, I'd shit myself. Three, there was people everywhere. Four, it stunk, man. Literally, this this is got to be the... The, the horriblest, most gruesome excrement I've ever released in my life. Anyway, he comes back, he comes back with the tissue. That's when he starts to start recording, and that's when you're recording. You know, that's when you can see in the video that uh, it was just a rough time. The whole day then, whenever I was walking around, there was shit jokes being made. Why, why did you shit yourself, Roy? For you, you stink, mate. For <laughs> you know. At the time when it was coming out, I did feel a bit helpless, but now I can look back at it and I can laugh. You know what? I think I handled it quite well anyway. I think I'm a good handler. I think I can handle I can handle shit pretty good. I just make, you know, just, you just, you're in life. Look, if you, I'll give you a bit of advice now. And this is coming from a man that almost shit himself. You know, I've lived it. I've lived the life. I'm on the edge. You know, I'm living this, this wild, crazy life. And, uh, you know, you need rules. You need regulations. I was going to tell you now, everything will be alright. Just laugh about it. Your dad's just died, laugh about it. Your nan just died, laugh about it. Don't laugh about it in front of your family, like, but when you get home, have a little giggle about it. We, your dog just died. You can probably laugh about a dog in front of everyone else because it's not that bad, is it? You know, Or a hamster or something. It's nothing. Or a goldfish. It's nothing, man. You know. But just laugh about it and everything will feel a bit better. I don't know. But since that day, shh. My stomach. Wherever I go, I take a spare pair of pants. Never risking that again. <sighs> that was the behind the scenes story of the emergency shit. Hope you enjoyed it, mate.